Hello and welcome to the Ban in a Box 2009 New Features video. In this video we're going to show you some of the many new features in Ban in a Box 2009 and you'll also get a sneak peek at some of the 101 new real track styles. Right now we're listening to the demo for the Jazz West electric guitar real track style from Real Track Set 29. This is a great place to demonstrate an exciting new feature called Real Charts. Many real track styles now display notation showing the notes that are being played. Some guitar real tracks also show tab and accurate on-screen fretboard display to show what is being played on the guitar. As you can see here, both the piano part and the guitar part are displaying the notes that you're hearing. For the guitar, we can check this out on the guitar fretboard display. And not only are the notes correct, but the position is exactly as the guitarist played it. And for the piano, we can look at the piano part with the big piano window. And here we can see accurate notation for the piano and guitar. And the guitar part even has tab notated. There are also several exciting new upgrades to the Audio Chord Wizard. The Audio Chord Wizard is the feature that can take an audio file, WAV, WMA, or MP3, whether it's your own recording or a commercial recording, and figure out the bars, chords, and tempo of the song. This feature has now been expanded upon to make it even more useful and easy to use. I'll load up a song to demonstrate. We'll open Frontier. Listen to a little bit. And we'll set bar 1 here. If you set bar 1 and occasionally the next few bars, the program generally does a better job of finding the rest of the bar lines. As you can see, it's done a great job of finding the chords and bar lines. And we can see the song go by above. and we can also see it moving down here on the chord chart. One new thing you can now do is actually edit the chords right here, rather than editing them in Band in a Box. For example, here A over C sharp is probably correct based on what they were playing, but for my chart I'd prefer to simplify it to just A. You can also set the key signature, set part markers, and even fine tune if it's a little bit sharp or flat. And all of these settings are saved when you send to Band in a Box. And all of our changes that we made are now present in Band in a Box. And if we return to ACW, the changes are preserved there as well. Other new features include upgrades to the Assign Real Tracks dialog, including artist information. There are also new columns that tell you if the Real Tracks style is stereo or mono, whether real charts are available for this style, and also the Real Tracks set that the style belongs to. This last one is particularly useful if you find a style that you don't currently have. For example, I don't currently have Guitar Electric Rhythm Train Pickin' Even 130 installed but I can still listen to samples of the style by clicking on Audition to play the style by itself, or the plus button to listen to the style in the context of a band. I'll listen to just the style itself. And if I really like the style and I'd like to purchase it, 
I can easily tell it's on Real Track Set 9, and I can go straight to www.pgmusic.com to order it. This dialog also now has an easy button for finding styles or demos that use that particular real track style. Here is another useful feature, where you can freeze song for rapid playback. This converts the song to audio data that plays on the audio track, while the other tracks are muted. This ensures that the song loads and plays quickly without having to wait for real tracks to generate. This feature is useful for people performing or in other situations where you are happy with the arrangement and don't want to wait for several real tracks to generate. Even a long song with multiple real tracks can now play back in a few seconds if you first freeze the arrangement. Other real tracks improvements include the ability to have a delay in real tracks programmed into a style or song. These allow you to make a song or style with a more laid-back feel for a certain real tracks. Real tracks also now have better soloing and rhythm playing that are influenced by the key signature as well as the chords, better playing of slash chords in some situations, options for simpler arrangements on some real tracks, which avoid embellishments, better playing of fills, turnarounds, post fills, and odd and even bars. Here is a new MIDI feature, the Melody Wizard. This feature is similar to the existing wizard, but allows you to trigger notes on the melody track. We'll make sure the wizard is turned on, and in the preps we'll make sure Allow Melody Wizard on Through Part is selected. I've made a simple tune to demonstrate this. It's just made of half notes and whole notes. Now I'll mute the melody, and I'll select the instrument I want to play on the through track. And when I play, I can trigger the notes with the T key. And now I'll embellish that by playing approach notes with the Q, W, E, and R keys. These are just some of the many new additions to Ban in a Box 2009. Check out the new features documentation for more information. We hope you enjoy Ban in a Box 2009.